Losing time, just a dead soldier I dread nothing like a comb over Cup of muddy in my college days Getting cutty like the old school You say I'm fronting, I should probably change I'm in a bad mood I got an IQ, I was skipping grad school Didn't get a bachelor trying to What up, doll? Happy Thursday I hope y'all are having a good, good, good day Um, I'm washing my heated blanket And I'm about to get ready to probably do a little makeup tutorial Or some type of little makeup tutorial Um Rhea is coming to get a facial at 1 o'clock. So I'm going to try to record a little bit. But it's a little dark in my front room. That's the only thing. So I don't know how that's going to work out. But we'll try to figure it out. Um, I'm also going to work out today. Because today is Wednesday. I didn't work out Monday because I worked out on Sunday. So I'm going to go to the gym today. And what else are we doing today? Um, we're going to work out. I'm doing a facial. I'm about to do like a little tutorial. I got like an hour and a half before Rhea comes. So, I'm about to go, like, make my bed, my table and stuff up. And then, um, yeah. And then I'm going to do all that. I'm hungry a little bit. But I'm going to try to push through just because I want to film this little tutorial. And then, uh, yeah, do the rest. I need to let my damn face rest, honestly. What I got? What's today? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I have five days. I really don't have to film today, honestly. Um, I may attempt to, though, because I just want to have content. I got, like, four pictures already that I want to put on my Instagram. I want to take a picture of me. I don't know. It's just a lot in my mind. Like, y'all, I've been really focused on my creativity and really being creative with things. And I just be thinking about so much stuff to do now. So, yeah, once you just focus on something, it's just always so good. But... I hope y'all, this will be the last vlog of the new year. So I hope y'all have an amazing new year. I know this year was hard. <laughs> this year was hard as fuck for me. But we got through it together. Thank you for everybody who watched me. Who supported me. Who just commented. Did what I asked you to do. Like when clicking links or supported me. Sent me money like. I am so grateful for my subscribers. You all will ever will never fucking know. Like it just means the world to me. And we can say that we made it past 2020. And that is a big accomplishment. Even if you didn't do nothing else. If you in a good mindset and you made it past 2020, that was fucking enough. Okay? Alright, so we about to get ready to start our day. Today, I think I'm going to work out legs and booty and all that when I go to the gym because I haven't worked that out in a minute. We're going to lift some weights. Um, I need to figure out some food before I even go to the gym, but I'm not going till later, probably around, yeah, later after I get done with real facial and all of that. Well, I actually should be done with real facial by like two o'clock and I probably could do my makeup tutorial at that time. I need to figure out something to eat. I hope it wasn't nothing in my mouth that whole time. All right, I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Y'all, am I the only person that's like this? I know I'm not because I saw a meme about this. Um, like, when you have something to do, you can't do nothing else. Like, Rhea coming at 1 o'clock, and I just can't do nothing else. Like, I feel like I can't go outside. I can't do my makeup beforehand. I had to really, like, focus and get myself together. And then when she come, I'll be able to do everything I got to go do. Because I need to go to the grocery store, too, but I just don't want to do nothing. Because Rhea coming at one. Girl, I hate that I'm like that. I'm like, baby, I just came outside with no coat on because my coat is in the car for some reason. I don't even remember why my coat is in the car. I got on shorts and sandals. <laughs> you know how you just don't feel like, <laughs> you just don't feel like doing like I don't feel like putting no clothes on I don't feel like doing nothing I just want to go get my coffee go get what I need girl I think maybe I might do a do my makeup tomorrow video and talk about what 2020 has taught me um I think I might do that 
Just cause. Yeah, I want to do some type of video like that. What 2020 has taught me. Because I feel like 2020 has taught me a lot. It's taught me a lot just about different things. I'm actually going to write that out today. And then Friday, I'll put that video up. If y'all haven't caught up on the vlogs, go catch up. Let me know how you liking the vlogs. If you think I should still vlog on the channel. If you think I should add something else. Want somebody bless me. I think that's her name. Keep on saying I need to uh do clothing hauls. I'm like, girl, I don't shop enough to do no clothing haul. I just don't shop. So they had to send me some free clothes. But I guess I don't know. And I and she keeps saying doing apartment tours, but I'm not doing apartment tours till I go look at apartments. So yeah, that's what. We're All right, y'all. So Riz just got done with her facial. She How was it, Riz? She did a thing. I ain't even for the lie. I'm gonna say it was relaxing. The little spa music going. Hey, got up in these pores. Steamed me on up. Skin look good. And massaged me all down. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> come on to the low factory. What's it gonna be called? The low factory. No, <laughs> the low factory. No, we're just called Ask for Lex. Oh, ask yeah. for Lex. Come on, Ask for Lex. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Girl, your skin look good already. It feel good. That's what I'm saying. I had some extractions that needed to be extracted too. Yeah, Got we did do some extractions. Thigh. We did some extractions too. Got up on up in the thing. Look good. Look good. Look like something. <laughs> I love things about her, but I don't love her. I love the way she treat me, but I don't love her. I love the way she me, but I don't love her. I love the way she me, but I don't. Love Alright y'all, so I'm about to go down to the trash. I feel like I'm always going down to the trash on the vlog, but I'm listening to the clubhouse in my ear. I'm about to get ready to, uh, I got two things in the mail. So I ordered a dress for New Year's Eve, and I ain't even got no plan. <laughs> I wish I had something to do, because I want to do something. Don't nobody want to do nothing. I ordered a dress from K&Co. It's like a little red dress. I'll put it right here. It's a cute little dress, but ain't nobody doing nothing, so... Um, yeah, so uh, the dress actually came pretty quickly. It's here. I was like, I don't think it's gonna be here by New Year's Eve. I ordered it for New Year's Eve, but I was like, I thought it was, but then it wasn't doing the tracking, so I was like, damn, maybe it ain't. But it came today, so it's in my mailbox. And then something else I ordered from Detroit is in my mailbox as well on Black Friday. My other two things that have not moved my J Scup belt and my wax pot. I don't know where the hell. The wax pot just said the label was made. And she said she shipped out everything on her Instagram. And my Jessica belt is still in fucking Ellenwood. <laughs> and it's blowing me. But I'm going to try to be patient. I'm going to try to be patient. I'm going to try to be patient. I've been patient. It's, um, it's a month. It's been a month. I ordered November 27th. It's been a whole month, bitch. A month. Literally. So my dress is here and my little oil from the spiritual shop is here as well. So 
So yeah, I'm so happy about those two things. I'm always waiting on my belt. We're gonna pray that it just moves and come on so I can be working out with my J School belt on. <sighs> And then my wax pot will come on too because I got people that want to get waxed and I don't have my wax pot or my wax. I could have just wanted to go. What's pissing me off about my wax pot is I could have really wanted to go pick it up because she in Georgia. And I'm like, what is going on? We in the same state ordering from New Orleans, bro. And the one in Georgia still sitting there. I'm like, what the hell? And this came from all the way from Detroit, but it took almost a month. Like, probably like two weeks, two, three weeks. But it didn't show any updates or nothing on this package. So. Y'all know how the USPS is now. I, mean, I guess it's a blessing I don't have a business right now because I probably will be stressed out. Because you don't got no control once the order is gone. No control. Just thing, little as hell. I just got done working out. My workout was good. Now we're going to Kroger. I worked out my legs, my booty. I worked out my back a little. I'm trying to see if I have my coupon for me some flowers. I was trying to see if I have my coupon for me some flowers, and I do. So we're going to get some flowers in a minute. I got to get some other stuff from over here in Kroger. Yeah, I'm about to get me some sushi, of course. Um, you yeah, know, I've been addicted to my grocery store sushi. So I'm going to get this with the avocado and the cream cheese and the crab. And we need some chopsticks because last time I forgot my chopsticks. <sighs> yeah. Uh, do I need some soy sauce? Get some more soy sauce. Oh, it's about to be so delicious. Delicioso. Ugh, okay. Look at this, y'all. Candy pot with sneakers. With Snickers. I'm not gonna get it, but it looks pretty good. I forgot that I need the flowers. I already checked out, but I don't know which ones I wanna get, which ones are calling me. Uh, you know, I bought myself weekly flowers, child. These are so pretty, but I don't think they all gonna fit in my vase. Uh, I like this one. This one is cute. Yes, ma'am. About to go back, and then I'm about to be on my way home. 